Hey everybody, this is <laughs> not a spring check and you notice I'm wearing my pink fuzzies today was only because, are we getting ready to go over that fiscal cliff? Well, 18, yeah, what is it, 18 Republicans are no longer in their major cabinet positions or committee positions. But I think somebody didn't quite count right because how many Republicans does it take to get Speaker Boehner oh, out? 17. Yes, I think somebody miscounted. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kemal with comments on the headlines of today. It's all over for the Republicans. Well, I mean, if you listen to a lot of the people on the Republican Party, it is over. The Republican Party, because of uh, the, it is the people that gave you George Rom uh, Mitt Romney for the president nomination are the same people that are currently destroying the party. They're the ones that are prepared to give the president anything he wants. I mean, uh, which is ridiculous because as the, as the people on the other side who are getting ready to split from the party and form their own Republican Party are trying to point out the fact that you were not representative, like Boehner, all these other, you were not elected to give the president what he wants. The people gave, the people kept the House split, you know, so that the Democrats did not have total control so they could stop the president. If they wanted the president to spend money, they'd give him a total Democratic Congress, and they didn't. And the, uh, Boehner, though, is sort of getting the idea today when he, they think that the Boehner, he showed that he wasn't quite as bright as he thought he was by kicking 18 people off of, they totally were kicked off a of committee. There's no job. 18 Republicans that have no committee positions now. And everybody that the congressman has a committee position to teach them that, that, that we kept a scorecard. Well, they're not supposed to keep scorecards. But oh, they, they're wanting, they're demanding to see a scorecard, and he's refusing to let them see it. Who's who's demanding a scorecard? The, the people that were kicked out of the positions that want to see the scorecards that were used. They want to know who was keeping them. Oh. We know that we know that Cantor and Ryan, who are upstairs, have both said we don't approve of anything the speaker has done because mm -hmm. they're both fiscal conservatives. And um, and Boehner is talking about giving the President of the United States four dollars in every revenue for one dollar in future cuts. Future cuts? Coming. Yeah, it's never coming. So the Republican Party is at war with itself because, like I said, if you like Mitt Romney as the Republican presidential nominee, you're going to like Speaker Boehner and the Republican leadership agreeing to everything. I, I love it. They said um, last night on one of the, the talk shows, the uh, guy was doing his um, uh, doing his, his thing about monologue, and he said, oh, he said, the President of the United States and, Rep and, and, and Speaker Boehner are currently meeting in the White House. Boehner is busy kissing the bare backside of the President. Mm -hmm. So, that even the comics know that he's in trouble. Oh, God. Yeah, because... <laughs> yeah. And Palestinians ask the UN for settlement intervention. Well, it, it's not going to happen. It's their country. It's not... that This is unbelievable. Uh, okay. Because Obama's president, and he knows he will not stop any Muslim in, in intervention anywhere, because, uh, folks, remember his name is Barack Hussein Obama? Mm -hmm. He's a closet, I mean, first of all, the Muslims don't like him because he refuses to admit he's a Muslim. The Catholics don't like him because they know he's a Muslim. The Jews mm -hmm. don't like him because they know he won't do anything to keep Israel, so. And Senator Marco Rubio just finished paying off a student loan debt. Well, that's how it works. I mean, um, most people, I mean, I actually borrowed money. To, actually, what I did was I, I, I needed some camera equipment to do an animated thing, so I went and bought an old uh, a Bolex that did single frame shots. <coughs> did I need to borrow the money? No. Oh, you'll good. love this. I requested a student loan. I got a student loan the month I was graduating. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know. Well, let me put it this way. I, I didn't get the money for the camera until after I'd already purchased the camera. Uh huh. I understand. And, yeah, I know that was it. I'd already, I was three months into the project before they approved it. And we'll put it this way. My father was running a construction business in the industry, making lots of money. My mother was the vice president, general manager of, of, a, of a major corporation. and. We, they had to approve the loan. You know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Only three major U.S. cities see economic recovery. Oh, no. Everybody is recovering. I mean, 
this morning they had the most unbelievable news this morning that the, the oh, un unemployment rate, figures are down the lowest since 2008 I know since since uh, he became president the lowest since he became president at the same time for the third straight month industry has cut back on hiring there I mean they said um, no okay it, it amazing the amount of droppage in the unemployment rate corresponds exactly to the amount of, of no of people not being in, hired by the industries. Uh, and they find that rather coincidental, but they also pointed out the fact that um, nobody believes any of the reports. Oh, I forgot I got to cover. This is, he work, like Bill O'Reilly, he works as the president's crown. But they, there's totally no one that believes the unemployment figures that this president is putting out now. The, earlier this week, he saluted the 500,000 new workers, and then the, uh, later they asked, oops, no, uh, the, the, those workers were totally part-time. They can't be counted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. And only three major U.S. cities see economic recovery. I know, we didn't like that one. Well, that, oh, that's right, because inventories boost economic growth, but trend weak. That seems no to me it was like about the same thing. There is thing. no inventories. They just announced today, they have, the inventory supplies, they're, okay, they're not buying anything from from the companies, which is why the companies are continuing to cut back on their hiring. They're actually, okay, the one person who said, let's see, they, they did 40,000 here, you know, 10,000 there. He said, by my figures, we had zero employment this last month, but the president showed 149,000 new hires. They had, they're cutting, I mean, just company after company is cutting everything back now. And Japan donates $5 million for tsunami debris cleanup. That's what I get for $5 million for mm -hmm. that doesn't, okay, that doesn't quite cut it, folks. I mean, $5 million to, you know, I think that, I think the thing cost like about $30, $40 billion in damage. Mm -hmm. And that, that don't cost more than $5 million to clean up. And a Mauritanian president returns to France. Yeah, because they get the only place is safe. <laughs> Ooh, House votes to expand visas for high-tech workers. Yeah, and the president, the president said he's going to veto it. Oh, he did? Well, the president wants all of those people that are here illegally to be given the first shot at all of the jobs that are available in the high-tech industries, even though they're not qualified mm -hmm. for them. Oh, and here's a good one. I've got to cover his little record here again. Um, they said uh, the great announcement by the people over at Apple that they're bringing computer business back from China to here sent the stock down by $57 a share today and by next week it's going to have lost uh, $250 since uh, they made their great iPhone announcement. Everything that they do, they said to them, yeah, everybody's got to rush for those minimum wage jobs that they're bringing over here. And Syrian opposition may allow peacekeepers if Assad goes. Oh, he's not going. I mean, this is, okay, how do you know a Republican is a complete and absolute moron? Well, Assad's on the run now, or he wouldn't be mixing up sarin gas. And Assad is winning in every single battle. He, the Russians don't, Russians support him, the Iranians support him, the Chinese support him. What he's doing, uh, I, I heard one of the people that basically is the Middle East expert said, the man is simply preparing for an invasion by American troops. He's going to kill Americans right and left, and uh, that's what he's going to use it to defend his country from invaders. What? Yeah, well, when NATO, led by American troops, invades his country to throw him out, he's going to kill everybody. He said, uh, he said uh, this is what it's going to be when they go to NATO, and they said, will all the American soldiers that wish to be killed by sarin gas please raise their hand? Oh, that's bad. He said, he once said you're going, it's going to be like a, Republic, a conservative Republican voting for Mitt Romney. They're all going to sit on their hands when that time comes. Is that why he's Turkey has suppressed Putin on negotiating end to Assad deals, Assad's rule? Yeah, but the problem is the Turks and the Russians don't get along together. The Turks basically have pushed, they, they pushed too many buttons since the day of Ataturk. And the Russians do not like the Turks, folks. So, you know, anybody remember from Russia with love that was dealing in Turkey? And the Russians basically went out of their way to kill Turks? And $2 billion price tag for presidential election. Yeah, and the most of the money was put forth by Barack Hussein Obama, not by Mitt Romney. Even though he said, well, Mitt Romney based vastly outspending. But here's the good one. How do you know that Obama is not as good a businessman as 
Mitt Romney. How? Obama is almost $200 million in the hole. Obama, Romney showed a $27 million surplus. <laughs> the last election, Obama had $450 million put in his bank account. Uh, <coughs> Anna Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, that, that, that changed this one. Okay, that anytime you listen to anything the president says, you absolutely have to believe in Santa Claus.